Close your eyes and watch your breath. The breath comes in, you stay right here. The breath goes out, you stay right here. Think of it being like a post at the edge of the sea. The waves rise, the waves fall, but the post is buried there on the ground. It doesn't rise and fall with the waves. That's the kind of mind you want to develop, not only while you're meditating, but as you go through life. Your mind isn't firmly planted here in the breath. It's like a post that's lying on the, the beach. The waves can push it up and push it down and get into danger. Anybody walks past, their arms and legs are in danger, and the post itself can get crashed against the rocks, smashed to smithereens. That's what happens when a mind isn't firmly planted. So try to plant it right here on the breath and keep it right here. Don't let it send out little arms or little tentacles to grab onto this or grab onto that. Try to keep it in a small spot like this. Not too small. Be aware of the whole body breathing and the whole body breathing out. So you have a sense of ease and well-being. Because the mind needs this kind of foundation, because otherwise it just travels around all the time. And like a child, wanders out of the house and can get into all kinds of trouble. So to keep the mind safe, you keep it right here, where you can see it clearly and to see what it's doing. And it doesn't pull any other things in to get you into trouble. As John Lee says, try to make your mind round right here in the present moment. Don't let it send out little arms here and there, because the arms, as they get longer and longer, they start getting more twisted. And they come back and they can twist around your throat and twist around your arms and legs. All kinds of trouble can happen when the mind starts wandering off into other places. You want to keep it right here. Polish it so that it's round and polish it so that it's bright, he said. That's the quality of mind you want. So work on it right here, right here, right here. Because if the mind isn't grounded, who knows where it's going to go? It gets into trouble, causes trouble for other people. So try to keep it well grounded as you go through the day, not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but try to stay with the breath as you go through the day. This gives you a good foundation. Anytime you want to say something, okay, ask yourself right here, okay, so this is this going to be wise? Have a good spot in the, in the present moment where you can pose that kind of question and not give in just to the urge to say whatever pops into your mind. We have a good place for the mind to sit and a good place for the mind to stand. Okay, Then it can look at things clearly, step back a bit from your emotions and decide what's worth getting involved with and what's not. That's the kind of mind you can trust. It becomes a mind that, instead of causing trouble for itself, can bring all sorts of good things. So work on polishing your mind, keeping it right here and keeping it well polished. And you realize that you've got a jewel right here, something you want to protect. <laughs>